Well, hello everybody, it's Vi again from Vi Chalky Furniture and today I want to show you makeover of this uh, Art Deco used to be dressing table but unfortunately the mirror is gone. I didn't get the mirror but it was definitely a dressing table as you can see. Uh, someone was trying to do some work on it already because this um, material inside this hidden drawer is not original and uh, as you'll be able to see the handle of this tiny drawer is the only one original left and the other ones are not original okay so we've got those side drawers here that I'm trying to open it but it's difficult really um, quirky so, um, drawers I would say I don't know but they're, they're, they look quite nice and look at this like waterfall waterfall like a feature here that doesn't serve any purpose it just just looks beautiful and again the original handle of this uh, table as you can see the it looks like it's in a very good condition but just like I said someone was trying to do a uh, refurbishment of this piece already uh, so the varnish is uh, not very good you can't see it in the a, in a camera, but it has a lot of cracks and, and scratches and everything. So it's not the, the, the greatest. So we will have to remove it probably all. Okay, so this is the maker. As you can see, it's from 1960. So it's quite old piece. And the bottom drawer as well. As well. They look really nice inside, but they do smell a bit. So uh, I'll have to leave it out for a while. As you can see, uh, this veneer at the, at, the, at the drawers is really nice. We'll try to save it. But first of all, we'll need to take this piece apart. Just like I mentioned before, I wanted to remove this uh, old, old protection, so I've used this uh, no nonsense stripper. I had some steel wool, mask and gloves for protection and these are the uh, drawers, I keep forgetting. Okay. To be honest, uh, I used this stripper for the first and probably the last time because it was just uh, not the greatest and uh, I would not recommend to use it. It took me about three layers. Uh, I think I, sh uh, I think it was three at the end. And after that, uh, we had to sand it down anyway because it was uh, it was just not working. So if you ever see this no nonsense thingy, just just don't use it. It's it's just worthless. So we did the drawers, we did the top and the waterfall feature. We did the a lot of um, uh, elements of this uh, now, I think we can call it just of drawers <laughs> or maybe still dressing table without the mirror. But just like I said, uh, someone was trying to do the refurbishment already and uh, veneer was already really damaged. So, well, we will have to see it. So, or, or, and, and again, you can see how badly this remover is actually working it's not taking anything almost anything at all and I've used quite dif different uh, removers over over the the pieces that I've that I've uh, removed the varnish and this is the that one was the, the worst basically So this is the look of the piece after it had been stripped with uh, this uh, stripper. So as you can see, there's a gazillion things that are still there 
that should have been removed but um, this one was a, uh, cleaned a little bit better this this part um, but you can still see varnish on it even though uh, I've, I've used the seal wool and that one has already been uh, sanded down with a proper sander and uh, you can see the difference but just like I said do not use this stripper if you if you have to remove stripper uh, if you have to <laughs> stripper if you have to remove varnish as you can see now we can see all the damages that have been covered and disguised uh, before so this part of uh, veneer is very 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 damaged so we will have to disguise it somehow because it you, you just can't uh, hide it after we will use the uh, oil and the, this is the part that's been missing as well and another scratch here so it wasn't really visible uh, when we took the piece on but now after removing this this uh, varnish everything just came out to light so uh, I'll show you a little bit of a uh, uh, sanding down and I'm doing it just now I think I've done it 120 uh, sanding paper and then followed by 180 but just, just like I said, a lot of work just to remove this varnish. Okay, so now I've finished with the parts that I want to save and I don't want to paint, so I'm going into painting. So I'm using Dixie Bell uh, paint, uh, all-in-one silk mineral paint, um, and I'll be using, I'll be doing its sides and some elements at the front. Uh, at the end, I've used um, three coats to to cover it uh, completely. Uh, I do uh, record uh, other. Uh, layers as well, but the light was so bad that the actual um, piece was looking purple instead of blue, so I've decided not to include it. But just like I said, I've used three, three uh, coats to uh, cover it completely. And now, one of the most satisfying jobs is the taking the masking tape off. It's just beautiful to watch, is it? <laughs> anyway, Lucas is preparing to put the Osmo oil on the on the top. So uh, glossy again, and uh, I'm not going to show you all the layers. But he used uh, he's done uh, three coats of uh, Osmo oil with a very very light sanding in between. And as you probably know and seen it from my previous video, you have to wait minimum eight, well, eight to 10, it depends on the maker, but uh, usually we do it um, in the evening and then we wait for the oil to be absorbed overnight and then another layer goes another, another evening. Okay, handles now. So I'm using gold gilding wax uh, just to give them a little bit of color. I've washed them first, so they've been washed in a soapy water and then I'm gonna do the wax on the top of them just to make them a little bit nicer. So this is the one of the side drawers. As you can see, I'm using gold gilding wax again. Sorry for the for the for the bad. Uh, I don't know why I didn't focus. But I have a little sponge, and I'm taking the excess off, and I'm dubbing uh, slightly to actually get the stencil on nice and, and uh, without any leakage um, underneath the um, stencil. So uh, remember when you're stenciling. It's uh, the little uh, wax in this case, you need really, really uh, little and, and you 
need to put layers over layers over layers. Not not layers over layers, but it's it's better to to do few very thin layers than one um, very thick, and then you've got leakage underneath the stencil, and everything looks just uh, not right. So patience and try to. Uh, stick stencil as uh, as firm and as 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 tight as possible to to your surface, so there's no movement, there's nothing. So I've got a tape around, but some people will use um, glue uh, that you can take it off the piece uh, with the stencil and, and uh, different techniques. But I, I think I prefer to use the uh, masking tape to keep it stencil in place. One more stencil to show you and uh, like I said at the beginning of this video I wanted to keep this those drawers unpainted but um, that damage in the middle of the bottom drawer was just disgusting so and we couldn't fix it so we have to cover it up somehow so I do have this stencil I've used it a good few times before you can see there's a middle uh, where two veneers are meet, uh, there's a perfect middle, so you can see uh, how stencil fits right in the middle. So I'm gonna put, the, I'm gonna try to put stencil uh, to put the stencil with, to do the stencil with the blue paint that I used for the uh, for the whole piece, because I thought that um, I don't think the wa wax would uh, actually stick to to oil but paint did stick to it. So I had my gloves, my sponge and uh, the paint that I used for the, for the piece. And to be honest with you, this project was so long and it took me, it took me ages. So if you try to stencil uh, something that's been covered in oil straight away, that nothing will stick to it. So I think it was, uh, to be honest with you, I think a couple of months before, in between putting the oil on the drawers and then stenciling it with paint, and uh, it stuck. It, it, it was it, it was actually a quite easy process to do. Just like I said, it took me ages to finish this 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 piece. Anyway, again, um, secure your stencil. Um, use very 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 little paint. Uh, so if you dub your paint in a in a container that you got paint on, and then take the excess off on a on a paper plate or something something else, so uh, you wouldn't have any leaks underneath. And this stencil, it's it's I love it, but putting it on the piece is just a pain in the bottom because of the lines are so thin. Okay, and we are almost done. Uh, we're gonna put the original. The one original handle that we have left from this piece on this tiny drawer and we're gonna put the um, drawer together and we put the every, everything back together again and that'll be it the piece will be finished ah oh, what can I say just like I said it was the the longest one of the longest project that I've that I've done it took me a good few months to from start to finish because of, of all the things that were not supposed to happen, they, they, they all happened, basically. So, uh, uh, I was very, very uh, close at some point to just give up and, and not to do this, but I'm glad that at the end uh, we finish it, because uh, well, it looks, it looks uh, nice and uh, new. And uh, Lucas is struggling to put the drawers back in. <laughs> okay, so that's the piece finished. And one more look with the professional background. So you can see the drawer. We did refresh the drawers uh, inside. Then it's not shown in the pic in, a, in this video, but we did refresh refresh drawers. So basically, sanded them down 120 degree uh, degree. <laughs> Great sanding paper, sorry, and then wax. And thank you very much. I hope I'll see you next video.